EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the StubHub Center, 20 miles south of downtown L.A. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Chargers. Set for football now on a rainy Sunday afternoon. And we are underway in Southern California. his first carry and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down and that's a run that'll energize an offensive line they'll take that one all day long fundamental breakdown by the defense you've got to be able to make plays on the edge so here's a first and 10 at the 38 They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Desmond King making the tackle. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times. And they operate as a terrific unit. Second down, here's Locke, and that is incomplete. Desmond King there on the coverage. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, here's Love. And a third down pass falls incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. This one gets him to the 10-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That first down run could not have turned out worse for a defense because when they came out on the field, their number one mission, keep them stacked up close to their goal line, and at worst, create great field position for their offense. now on second down and this turns into disaster he's not going to get forward progress that'll be a safety well we, we thought these two defenses they might come to play one has already come to play here a safety for the opening points of the game brandon let's file this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game who knows this could wind up being the difference and remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Oh, he takes it in, doesn't let it bounce. He takes it at the 2. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Now a first down throw. Lock. His throw incomplete. Brian Grant, the intended target. And now it's second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. On second and 10, Locke. This is caught. It's Ryan Grant. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. And a quick throw here, that's complete. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now a play fake, and it's locked. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of five. And that'll lead here to a third down. Nice job there, right, of just going through the progressions, finding the open man, even if it wasn't for a 25-yard game. Everything does not have to be spectacular. The mundane. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is recovered by the Chargers. And hopefully for both sides, not a sign of things to come, Charles. This morning, it was so perfect outside, but we knew this weather was coming, and we see the effects of it here early on. And I wonder if how perfect it was this morning has psychologically fooled everyone. You know, it's almost like even though we were told the weather was coming, and you know the teams knew it as well, that maybe they got fooled and thought, ah, it's going to be okay. And now they're probably a little upset that yeah, it's out there Because warm-ups were dry. Oh, well, dry. And now you've got to make the change up, and it's the first quarter. Might take them a little time to settle in on their focus and concentration. Rivers to throw it. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Four down, four down. Eight, a second down throw for Rivers. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Set. On first and ten, Rivers. And a tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. 
On second down, Rivers again. Being chased out left. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Partner, I know the ball security's preached like crazy, but every now and then, you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now, if you're the offense... Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. From the gun, Rivers. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Colts getting ready to go. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find the matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. Throw left side complete. It's Doyle. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Now it's Lock. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Melvin Ingram in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Hey, Off of play action. Lock. And he's going to go down again. Joey Bosa in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. But Brandon, sometimes I think when we watch games, we're actually watching a living museum because we're seeing the evolution of positions almost with each passing game. How about defensive ends nowadays and the way that they can run almost all the way across the field? It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're so strong, but they're so lean, they can move so quick with those bodies. It's almost unfair. You're supposed to be able to know where a defensive end is supposed to be on every play. It, That's caught inside the 20. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And give him a gain of 37. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play in the football. Lock. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts add on to their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
Rivers now to throw on first down. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. The first down throw here for Rivers. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Throwing again. Rivers on second and ten. He's going to air one out. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now Rivers. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Andrew Luck now, he gears up to lead this offense again. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey, well, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gaughan. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And they went for a big play through the air on second down, couldn't connect. Now it's third. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The Colts on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Love. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Holding offense. So that one a hold Still right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. He did well to get him eight yards, but it's still going to mean a call to the punt team on fourth down. 
And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. And this defense continues to dominate. How about two safeties in one game here? You don't even put that on your goal sheet. This is something that results when you're playing really well on defense and the offense has nowhere to go with the football. Dominating performance. And the Colts coming out now. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Here's Love. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Second and ten, luck again. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. On first down, it's long. Caught left side by Hilton. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play there just before halftime. 51 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. On first and 10, Locke. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Again, Luck. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. And Vinatieri's kick is good. So we cut. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. 
but typically halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 390. 390. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's Rivers. He's airing it out for Williams. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. But has not been the best game for him. But he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell in completely. You're right, hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. That's his second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them. What move? And they're going to try this again. It's another fake. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool them. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Here's Luck now on second down. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Throwing on third down. Luck. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Doyle. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Hey, hey, hey. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. They go play action here on first down. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Rivers. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. Third down here. 
Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. Rivers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Pulling at the 24. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now a first down throw, Locke, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Joey Bosa in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I'd file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll run him now out of the gun. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. The Colts on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 14. Here's Matt. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But, boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Taken in at the 22. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? To throw is Rivers. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. To throw again, Rivers. Wide open receiver complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Danico Autry never giving up. He's able to keep working and get him for a loss of 12. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make it. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off at the 36. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play. Taking the ball away after 
after it looked like they were starting the drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. They run again with Hines. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. He already has two sacks to his credit. Now another tackle for loss. And you know how you can always identify who was supposed to block him? They're the ones helping up the person who just got knocked to the ground with the ball, right? Whether it's a running play or a pass play, they've got to figure out a way to slow him down. Maybe you chip him with a second guy. Maybe you just out and out double him. Maybe you make sure you take the ball and throw it as far away from him as possible. Because right now, he is wrecking things for them. Hurry up! Hurry up! They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Floating one incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Throwing, Rivers, and it's complete. Henry, and he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. On first and 10, Rivers. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. I think someone's going to get in the QB ones here when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better to throw Rivers now a desperate in a double coverage and it's intercepted Quincy Wilson with the INT and the return will be stopped at the 34 yard line Allen the intended receiver well this defensive pressure has been constant all game long the pass rush the coverage they've all been excellent and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain 